Hello familia, buenas tardes, hola familia. Alondra, Alondra Sandoval here from Chef Marketing. Welcome to Magical Martes. <laughs> the goal of Magical Martes is to, high, is to highlight conferences and chats at a high level and give members staff 411 in a forum where they can ask questions. This week, we're going to be highlighting the Sheptinas Conference and Jamil and Christina will be joining us to give more information and answer any questions that you have. Well, while we wait for them to join, let us know in the chat from which region you are and where are you located. And I see that Christina already joined. Let me. Hello. Hi, Hi Christina. Hi, Yamil. Thank you so much for joining. Of course. Hi. Thanks for <laughs> If we can start with introductions, that would be amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yamil, do you want to go first? Sure, I can. Hi, everyone. My name is Jamil Perez. I use she, her pronoun. My mom was calling me. Um, and I am the Shiftinas Conference Chair. I am located in Region 6, and I'm a part of the Eastern Iowa Professional Chapter. I'm uh, Cristina Cantero. I um, am the one of the uh, Vice Chairs for the Shiftinas Conference, um, and I'm from the Intel and Delta Valley Chapters. Thank you, thank you, thank you for introducing yourself. For introducing yourself, that girls. <clears throat> now, like, um, I, can you share? Can you share to everyone like um the mission uh, for the Shipinas Conference this year? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So the mission for our conference is always to empower Hispanic women, Latina women, uh, to continue their careers in the science, technology, engineering, and math. Um, and through our conference, we promote professional development, personal development but also the technical side. How can we improve ourselves technically and how can we feature technical talent within uh, the Latina community? Cristina, what do you have to add to that? What else, what else do we accomplish? Um, I feel like you covered most of the bases, but I think above everything, we just want to give uh, a lot of females as they begin their STEM career, whether they be at the professional level or the student level, we want to give them those role models that we don't see every day in our STEM field uh, professions. So we just want to highlight the talents that the women um, in every STEM field are kind of, you know, are all the amazing things they're doing in each of their respective fields. Love that. Love that. Um, is there a team this year for the conference? Oh, I think, did, am I live still? I think Yamil's frozen on my end. Yes, I can see you, Christina, but Jamil okay. is also frozen on my end. <laughs> okay, can you, but you can, okay, so you can hear me fine. What was yes. the question again? <laughs> um, is there a theme for the conference this year? Oh, the theme, yeah. Our theme this year is Valientes. So for those of us who don't speak Spanish, Valientes just means brave. Um, and that's something that we want all of our attendees to remember to embody um, every day, be that in classes, in their jobs, um, in whatever you know, wherever they're performing um, as a contributor in any STEM field, we want them to remember to be valiente. We want that goes for all of our female attendees, our male <laughs> attendees. Oh, <laughs> we lost <laughs> you. <laughs> um, we were talking about uh, the theme for the conference. Yeah. Um, so valiente. So if you want to add anything, I kind of gave a summary. <laughs> no, that's great. I, sorry about that. I lost. I could hear you, but I lost you all. I oh. No, that was perfect. Yeah, valientes, brave, bold, um, everything that we should be and can be. Yeah. Um. Love the team. Love the team. Um, how can the, how can this conference and um, track benefit each member category from undergrad, graduate, professionals? Oh, I love this question. Okay, so um, we have so many different kinds of workshops and workshop styles um, for this year's mm -hmm. conference where we have different panels that are higher career level. We have some early career uh, technical experts that are coming as well. So there's really something to gain for everyone who's in academia, um, people mm -hmm. in their undergrad careers, as well as professionals. I feel like everyone thinks that this is for undergraduate students only because that's most of who comes to our chef conference. Um, but I think there's something to gain at every level, professionals included, for sure. Yeah, and I'll add one thing. Our mm -hmm. goal is that the conference is for women in STEM, but that doesn't mean that other individuals can't join us. So exactly. if you believe in the mission of our conference, feel free to join mm -hmm. our workshops. 
as well. Um, there are some events that we have them tailored and we say that specifically they are for women and chef. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, those are a little bit more exclusive, but most of our workshops and events are open to anyone at the chef conference. So no matter your classification or if you, however you identify, feel free to join our workshops. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. Um, what is the most exciting part of the program? Ooh, Christine, I feel like you have a great answer for, I mean, I have a great answer. Yeah. A great answer. Wait, what, was, what is the what for the program? Sorry, it was breaking up right in the middle. What is the most exciting part of the program? Oh, the most exciting <laughs> part, okay. So, <laughs> um, the thing I love most about our conference every year is just the diversity and events that we're offering. So I just really love um, how many different populations and specific uh, technical interests we cater to. So that's always my favorite thing. Um, with different partnerships with other tracks and uh, different events that target different interests, I feel like is our most exciting part of our mm -hmm. conference um, while highlighting the technical expertise of women. So that's yeah. what I always am most excited about. <laughs> I'll add, I love the excitement in the Shiftiness conference. You know, oh, last yeah. year we were virtual and we tried to bring it even virtual. We were like, you know what, everybody unmute yourself. And this is, we're going to do this. We're going to do the chant virtually but just having the shiftiness chant and having that camaraderie and that friendship and all those things that bring us together it's such a cool environment and it it really does bring people together and so excited to be back in person this year from last year um and to bring that energy with all those different things and different people different workshops that we always have so mm -hmm. excited for that <laughs> And uh, what is the Shiftina Shan for those who don't know the Shan um, that joined the live? Ooh, okay. I'll be I'll be the audience. <laughs> Are you you're gonna be the audience? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Can I do this? Do I remember this? No, I remember this. I can. <laughs> I can if you want to be audience? Can we do we need to, we should have practice? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Who are we? Chip. Chip what? Shiftina. 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 <laughs> okay. We we can do better between now and the convention. We can yeah. do better. Okay. Yeah. Yes. And we'll have more. It'll be, we'll be, you know, there's strength in numbers. It's more than three. <laughs> yes, definitely strength in numbers. <laughs> um, the next question that I have, um, do you have any confirmed speakers or sponsors? Yeah, several. Um, so we always love having, a lot of our sponsors actually come back year after year. Mm -hmm. So Intel this year has committed to sponsor the luncheon. They've been sponsoring it for several years. So we're excited to have them back. Last year's luncheon, I know it was virtual, but it was, the speaker was amazing from Intel. Um, Accenture is coming back to do the breakfast on Friday. We're really excited about those. And then we have other speakers. Uh, Raytheon is coming in, Airbus. Um, I actually pulled up the list to make sure I didn't forget anybody that's confirmed right now, but 3M, Boeing, um, NSA, United Launch Alliance, API is sponsoring the t-shirts. So we have a lot of speakers and a lot of uh, amazing companies that are joining us, supporting our mission and bringing in their, their people, their employees to support us and, and to share their experience with us. So we're excited for that. Yeah, and we have a question on the chat. Um, are they going to... Are there going to be shipping as workshops talks every day? Ooh. Yeah, I think we have at least one event every day. We have, I think, maybe two or three each day. Yeah, yeah so right now, Thursday, Friday, uh, there's probably like two to three workshops plus one large event. Yeah. On Saturday, there's likely going to be a couple workshops. Mm -hmm. And then there's one event happening on Wednesday, which is the first time we've done that. We moved an event to Wednesday night. Mm-hmm. So there will be something for everyone every day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and now we have time. Um, if anyone on the audience has any questions, um, feel free to send them in the chat. <laughs> or if there's anything else that you, Christina and Yamil, want to share, um, feel free to do. Yeah, I guess I'll remind everyone that's online and that's watching this later on. Um, later on, watch social media channels, watch communication from SHAP because – those large events like the luncheon, the breakfast, they'll be ticketed. They're free events, but you need to basically RSVP and get a ticket. So as you register or even after you register for convention, make sure you go back and you snag one of those tickets 
because we will not have um, a space to allow people just to come in in the moment you'll need a ticket ahead of time so make sure you register for those but we're excited you know this is the 11th year last year we celebrated 10 this is yeah. last year's t-shirt um <laughs> so last year we celebrated 10 years of shiftinas and we're excited to do 11 in orlando um yeah. and to have these events so excited to do that and hopefully all of you can join us yeah um, I'll just add if there's anyone that already knows, like if you've been to any of our events or if you know you want to be attending some or most of them, just keep your eye on the website because as we uh, commit to more events, that'll be updated on there too. So you can see if you need to RSVP for any or if you just are interested yep. in going on each day, check the website, the Shep website. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was like, wait, I'll specify. <laughs> what website? <laughs> yeah. Um, and we have a question in the chat from Melissa. And um, why, mm -hmm. why are you the most excited for this year's shifting us track? And I believe we covered that already earlier, but if you want to answer again, that would be amazing. Yeah. Uh, do you want to go first? Do you want me to go, Yami? Yeah, I, I'll say for this year, not just always for shifting us. I'm just excited to, uh, to be in Orlando with everyone. Um, I'm excited for a little bit of a different plan, a different flow of the convention, not just of shifting us, but the convention overall and seeing how all that works alongside the Shiptina track. So I'm excited for that, to see my Ship Familia in person and to see all the Shiptinas running around and doing the chant in Orlando. <laughs> in person. In person. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know, it allows. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. And we have another question from Dora. Um, how, do, how do you get a shirt? <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm a Shiptina shirt. Good uh, question. Yeah, logistically, we have yet to pick which event, but usually um, that'll be at one of our larger events. We'll do uh, mm -hmm. the shirt just to give more people the opportunity to get mm -hmm. one, um, or maybe also at a workshop. I don't know, but we'll we'll put that somewhere once we figure it out. So yeah, everybody... we haven't decided yet. I guess. Do you have? Do, you know anybody have any ideas? Um, there's also just no, but there's also Shiptina merchandise. On the I sound like a commercial, America. but it's on the Shep Mercado. <laughs> if you want other, I'm like, where's, oh, I took it to work. I have a Shipinas coaster and I took it to work now. Um, I was, I thought it was here, but it's not. Um, but they're shifting our merchandise in the Ship Mercado. But if you want the conference t-shirt, follow us, go to all the events. Yeah. They'll be, they'll be given out probably throughout the conference. Mm -hmm. And if you see us on site, then just ask us and we'll definitely know when we're giving them out by then. <laughs> yes. By then. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um does anyone else in the audience have any other question feel free to drop it on the chat <laughs> I'm trying to think if there's something else i know i'm like looking at the agenda like hmm yeah i guess you know be, okay. be ready we always have a lot of um different events and so there will be mm -hmm. one large event almost per day mm -hmm. so uh throughout the week. Uh, so be sure to catch us. I know this conference schedule is going to be a little bit different. And with career fair, you're going to have access to career fairs on different days. But make sure that you follow and see what's available for that day that you're going to workshops and attending events so that you can take advantage and come join us for everything. So yeah. I don't want to, I don't want to drag it on too long. But we're excited. A lot of cool sponsors coming in this year and a lot of really great events. Yeah. yeah, I don't want to be too cheesy, but I just wanted to say thanks because everyone is always so supportive and excited for all of our events almost as much as we are. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's really special that we get to do that and hopefully in person with everybody. So we're excited. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And we have a couple of questions. Um, the first one, what's the latest merchandise this year? Oh, so I don't think they've added like updated merchandise yet. Um, oh, they'll probably yeah. update closer to the conference. Right. Um, this is the late, this was from last year. So a lot of the merchandise was like the, the 10 years of, of having yep. the lunch at Chip Um, yeah. but I think, yeah, it'll be, it'll be similar. Our logo stays the same. So, um, I don't know what items they'll have, uh, this year they change every year. Yeah. So yeah. definitely get closer to convention date and they'll have updated items on there. Right. And we, we asked for there to be not just Chip merchandise for the convention, but for there to be just shifting our merchandise that doesn't have a convention, the yeah. convention information. Mm -hmm. So I'll just say check out the Mercado because mm -hmm. I got the coaster, has no convention information on it, and I love it. I thought I had it here, but I don't. It's in my office because I use it every day. 
Um, so. And the next question that we have is from Rosa. Um, is a professional a specific event? There is. This year we're actually doing a, an event with the professionals track. So we'll have something on the agenda with them. Mm -hmm. um, and that'll be a sponsored workshop as well. So we'll be excited to yep. do that this year. Yeah, and the goal for that one is to be Friday. I know some of the professionals mm -hmm. sometimes don't get into like the Thursday night or Friday morning. Mm -hmm. So we're targeting Friday afternoon for that event. Um, and once we have all the details on it, we'll make sure to post it on the website. So again, I think the Shep website for the convention is really what we'll try to share everything as we go along. Mm -hmm. um, and there'll be a lot more information over the coming weeks. And I would say maybe a month uh, to get commitments for everybody. Mm -hmm. This is a good time to reiterate that all of our events are, you know, supposed to benefit undergraduate and professional level uh, attendees, but that there is a specifically professionals track of it. <laughs> yeah. Same thing. I guess I'll add to that. There is a collaboration specific with the Chef Tech Conference, which was previously known as the Tech and Innovation Conference. Uh, that event is planned for Thursday morning. Um, again, once we have a little bit more information, we'll make sure to share that. But that's an event um, that we just, the, it, not that none of our other events are tech and innovation, but that event is just even more so. And we try to promote it that way. So that'll be Thursday morning. And then the professional collab will be on Friday afternoon. Mm -hmm. And the next question that, that we have is not really related to the Shekinah's conference, but um, how has being, being involved in SHIP impacted your career and life? Love that question. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'll go first. I feel like Yamil has a longer answer. She's been in Chef Long. <laughs> um, so, um, I actually joined Chef and like was much more involved after graduating um, from college. So I feel like that's a opposite. Um, actually, no, it's not. I feel like everyone gets like sucked into the Chef. Yeah, the Chef tunnel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, but I, it's actually just been such a rewarding experience as a volunteer. Um, and I've just made so many friendships through Shep and through Shepina specifically. Um, it's just, it just gives you the perfect outlet to really give back to our community, um, and help in ways that I really wouldn't be able to otherwise. We get to impact so many students, professionals, like chapter leaders, any, anyone who attends any of our, uh, ends up being like impacted in some way, shape or form. So it's just such a beautiful thing to be a part of. So I feel like that's, it's a definitely an enhancer to life. <laughs> Don't make me cry, Christina. Last time I did a Facebook Live with Shep, I cried. So that's no, you did. I did, I did. I'm sorry. Don't, for those of you watching, just don't go and watch that. I'm just kidding. Go watch it. It's fine. Um, I started in Shep uh, 12, it's been longer than that. Let's just say 10 plus years ago. Um, but I was a freshman in college and I loved it. Um, similar to Christina, you know, but at the college level, it for me coming to a primarily white institution in the Midwest, I graduated from Iowa State University, which is actually where I work now. Um, uh, it, it was a community for me. And we were a really small chapter back then, uh, like 15 to 20 at most. We didn't go to regional conferences. We only went to the national convention. Um, and so it allowed me a space to kind of get to know other people that were like me in a place where there weren't that many of us. And so it was really cool. And I, I loved it. And I graduated, I moved across the country. And that was my first contact was, is there a professional chapter in North Carolina? Mm -hmm. And then I moved again. And again, is there a professional chapter in Phoenix? Um, and so those were my connection points as I moved across country. I'm now involved in the local chapter here. Um, somewhere along the way, I planned some RLDCs on the professional side. And I remember then Heidi Ariola, who is our uh, mm -hmm. advisor for Sheptinas, she was the RVP back then for region two. I've been region six, seven, and two. So kind of moved around <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. Uh, but I remember I was not having a great day planning RLDC and Heidi just comes over and goes, It'll all be worth it in the end. I know it's a lot of work. Like, calm down. You're gonna be fine. It'll all be worth it in the end. I was like, I don't know what she's talking about. And uh, um, the last day, no, I'm going to cry. The last day of the RLDC, I was, uh, it had been a super long day. Like, I had been up, like, 5 a.m. And it's, like, midnight at this point. And a student, and I just, all I remember, it was a female student. I do not remember her name. Uh, but she came up to me and she was like, 
this is the best conference that I have ever been to. Thank you so much for planning it. And for, you know, and she kept going. And I was just like, oh, my God. And I started crying, like, in the moment. And I just looked at Heidi, and she was like, told you. And I'm like, oh, my God. Um, And it was such a great moment for me. And that same year, I joined the convention. And I've been in the convention planning committee since. And and this is my second role in the convention. So it's just so rewarding. The connections that you make. whether it be personal or professionally, you know, there's things that Shep has helped me professionally, even now that I'm not uh, working in, you know, working as a STEM prof. Some people are like, are you still in STEM? And I work in a STEM program, but from an education perspective. Mm -hmm. And so there's just benefits to it. No matter what your profession, I'm a lifetime member. Uh, Sometimes I joke that I'm stuck with Shep, but I think Shep (laughs) is stuck with me. So (laughs) whichever way I'm here for life. So I totally Love. forgot to ask about how it, how it helped me, like, professionally at the beginning of my career. I have mm-hmm. – I was able to get my job at Intel because of a Chef Barbecue, so all the undergrad students who do those know that <laughs> I actually went up, and there was no one at the Intel table at Chef Barbecue, and I was like, ¿Qué le pasa a esta gente? that there's nobody at the <laughs> Intel table. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I have, to, I have to go talk to this man. And then, I I mean, instant connection and – was he got he got my resume to the right people. So I mean Shep really helps you in so many ways, like beyond what you can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much for sh- sharing Christina and Yamil. Um if no one has if no one else has any questions, we can end the live here. <laughs> okay. But uh, we can give it like around twenty seconds to see. Mm-hmm. Sure. I guess I'll just say we're excited. We look forward to seeing you at convention. Again, I would say keep an eye on social media for Shep and keep an eye on on the website for the convention for updates. Mm-hmm. And then make sure you go back to get the tickets for those ticketed events. Again, they're free, but you do need to RSVP and do that on the registration. So and we're excited. We'll see you in Orlando. Uh, September 1st is the day to register for those for those big events. So check September 1st and do it as soon as possible because a lot of them have um, a, like a maximum capacity. Yeah. Uh, especially if we're still going to be having the COVID restrictions. So jump on those as soon as you see them. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Familia. And see you next week for the next Magical Martes. Bye, everyone.